Good morning. It is Thursday, September 2nd, which means it's day 22. I am just leaving probably the worst shelter I've ever been in. And I didn't pick the best time to be doing this video because I've got a massive climb, like 4,000 feet. Um, and I'm doing three mountains today. I'm going to be going to Lac Bulio and probably taking a zero after that because a big storm's coming in. Unfortunately, that doesn't give me as much time as I wanted uh, because I have to be out of Matan Reservation by Monday. Hunting season starts on Tuesday. This is a problem for me. I don't see it being that big a deal because I'll be right on the border at the very least. Uh, Petiso or even... Uh, Paagle, I guess it's pronounced, I'm not sure. Um, so I don't foresee too much problem. Even though I don't have an orange vest, I still don't want to get shot. Uh, drunken people with guns, <laughs> I don't know. It's just something about that that unnerves me. Um, but at any rate, that's the plan. Get out of Matan by Monday. And then the real fun begins because then I've got about 180 kilometers of, of uh, no accommodation. Um, I'll be in Gaspésie Park and they just don't like through hikers. They don't, unless you can give them all your information and unless you can be booked every day uh, as of last April. Which in April I didn't even know I was coming here. Uh, by May they were booked up solid for the entire season until October 15th. Uh, this is, yeah, this is not good for me. I'm going to try my best to get through there. I'll probably have to stealth camp. I'll just find little nooks and crannies here wherever I can and just pitch a tent and do it. I, I don't know any other way. Uh, and I don't know because I'm not camping at designated campsites. I'm not sure I have resupply points. So food might be an issue. <laughs> now this is, I agree... A bit of a lack of planning on my part. If I had have investigated further, I might have known this stuff. Uh, but the SIA, like the governing body, the federal body, that governs the trail. Not necessarily each individual park, though. Uh, assured me that the $400 I gave them for my passport would give me free accommodation all through the hike. Well, they were wrong. And now I'm screwed. So worst case scenario, I, uh, I try to find a, a uh, road. <laughs> I mean, obviously if people are driving into camp, uh, they're driving out, so I might have to hitch out to the coast, just go from town to town, take a hotel room, hike in between, then maybe come back next year and finish Gaspisi Park, book it right away and just go, uh, and tack it onto the end of my through hike. So basically, that puts me at about a 10 month hike next year. Am I up for the challenge? I'll let you know in February when I'm leaving to go to Georgia. But for now, that is the plan. Anyways, I got about uh, 10 clicks today, but it's extreme elevation. Extreme elevation. It's three, I'll be climbing three mountains in that span. So it's a it's a big day, big, big day. Uh, it's eight o'clock now. If I get there by four, I would be extremely happy. 
extremely happy, but that's probably not realistic. Closer to six, which makes it a big day, which makes it a 10 hour day. So I'll be sleeping like a baby for the next day and a half. Anyways, when I get up on the top, I'll, I'll give you some views and, and uh, embrace the suck. Thanks, Darwin. <laughs> Later, guys. That's my first climb of the day. Right there. I'm at the junction. Mont Blanc shelter. Now forbidden. Kids came up here and vandalized it. It's now just for towers. Not allowed to camp here either. At the top of Mont Blanc. I think that's White Mountain. A little bit of a view for you. No, I'm not going to this little bench. Giving you the view from there. Lynn is scared of ledges. Yeah, I just talked about myself as a third person. Anyway, it's a good one. Petitso. I'll be there tomorrow night. Maybe. If I don't take a zero. It could be Lac Bulio, but I don't think so. I, I've got another four kilometers to Lac Bulio. If, if it is, then that's Lac Bulio. Although I do see a little waterfall at the other side, which is what Petit Soap means, apparently. I'm learning. Soap is a uh, waterfall. Petit is small. Small waterfall. So, we'll see what happens.